We know from the response on our emails, the response on uh, radio phone-in stations and so on, that the British public, millions of extra people who tuned in last night, are aghast by the display of bias from the BBC, the venom from the political class and the sheer unfairness. That was not a genuine question time, that was a lynch mob. And the, on the front page of the Times today, it's explicitly stated by the BBC that they deliberately changed the format. That cheated not so much me as all those extra viewers. We're putting in Freedom of Inf Information Act requests and a formal complaint to the BBC over the way in which they twisted Question Time and what it should have been. And I've got uh, three specific challenges. One is to David Dimbleby and the Question Time people. So let's have another one and do it properly where we talk about the issues of the day. People wanted to see me and hear me talking about things such as the postal strike. One or two questions about what a wicked man I am, fair enough. But the whole programme, it was absurd. Let's do it again. We do it properly this time. Secondly, I'd like to challenge particularly Jack Straw to one hour one-on-one -on -one, talking about five of the current issues of the day, his party's policies against my party's policies. It would be an enormous draw, the public would watch it by the million, and it'd be a proper democratic way of doing things. Thirdly, I want to challenge David Cameron, the mob organised outside uh, the BBC last night, which injured a number of policemen, cost a fortune to police. He supports, he's a formal sponsor of the Unite organisation which organised that mob. I want to challenge David Cameron to disassociate himself and his party from the disgraceful scenes of mob violence seen in London last night.